She means the very first power she taught me, just before I was admitted to Hibiju, when I thought of killing my parents. Get that backstory, son. I grew up in a wealthy doctor's family. We lived in a bona fide mansion, the envy of all my little school friends. But if they've known what took place inside the house, they wouldn't have envied me at all. My parents were human garbage. My mother's very identity revolved around doting on me. Anything I wanted, she bought for me. Anywhere I went, she came along as well. Every waking moment I had, she smothered until under a mountain of lessons. She had a particular f morbid fascination with clothes. She'd buy them all by the truckload and dress me up like her own little living doll. We had a huge dressing room, or as I consider it, a torture chamber. My mother would always dress me and say, how cute, or how beautiful. I could never refuse her directions. It was like being under a spell. Father, on the other hand, was rarely home. Even as a child, I knew he was having an affair. Because of that, my mother directed all of his feelings at me. Mother had been mad, but my father was the one who had drove her to it. Father was a world-renowned physician, but beneath his sterling reputation was a shocking amount of malpractice, all papered over with hush money. To make matters worth that worse, that money came from multiple accounts of tax evasion. So yeah, I think human garbage is quite an accurate description. I could only tolerate so much from either of them. Sometimes in middle school, I finally exploded inside. It was late one night when I rarely... Uh, late? <sighs> one night, a rare night when both of them were actually home. Somehow I found myself standing in front of the steps in one hand a lighter and in the other hand a can of kerosene. I remember thinking what a burn it all doubted in this. Once it's all over, I can be free. With an utterly calm expression, I began pouring out the kerosene. Then I flicked the lighter and that's when it happened. The lighter disappeared from my hand. I'm not fond of children playing with fire. Confused, I turned around to see a woman in a red park is standing behind me. She held a lighter in my hand when she was when she managed to take it. When had she managed to take it? I'd like to talk about talk to you for a moment. She turned back and walked away, her long hair fluttering in the wind. I saw no other choice but to follow her in silence. When I approached a nearby park, she tossed the lighter back to me. I fumbled with my hands and caught it. I'm just a, a school teacher. A teacher? That's a bit disappointing. Teachers don't get involved in household problems. Outside of television shows, they're good for nothing but empty platitudes. So what now? She looked at me with, an ice, with ice in her eyes, not a look one would expect from any teacher. What do you mean? Are you still going to burn down your house? Huh? If you kill your parents and burn down the house, do you think you'll feel any better? Her words caught me off guard. Killing them, burning down the house, it wouldn't make me feel better at all. Even if my parents were to vanish, it would break the chain around my heart. It wouldn't break the chain around my heart. In the end, all I had, all I'd be left with is would be guilt. My God, cannot read. Been reading too long. I've been in worse shape than ever. But what happened? What was I supposed to do then? How else was I going to get away? After a moment's consideration, I saw there was only one possible outcome. Miserable as it was, to accept the impossible, to admit I couldn't escape. Not from my parents, not from that house. Nothing I did would get me out of that hell. I realized I had been crying. My cheeks, my collar, everything was soaked in tears. I finally managed to stop crying. Without a word, Master Suzume pulled out a handkerchief. I can save you. What? You can't take control of your parents. You can take control of your parents. I stared at her in naked confusion. Then I took the handkerchief. A few months later, Father turned himself into the police confessing both his tax evasion and his medical malpractice. All thanks to Master Suzune and her lesson in the art of puppet mastery, manipulation. But on a much deeper level, he lost his mind out of his fortune. He lost most of his fortune and I knew his mistress would follow soon enough. Mother's case was not so cut and dry. With father out of the picture, I wonder if she might be happier, if we might be happier as a family. I decided to give her another chance. Loath him as she'd been, she was still my mother after all. Since I had no other school of mine, I decided to enroll in Hibiju Clandestine Girls Academy. Obviously, my parents couldn't know, and upon enrolling, I decided to leave the house. Getting in Hibiju was, Hibiju was easy. Since I already learned the rather difficult art of puppet mastery, I was quite advanced for a new student. Again, thanks to Master Suzune's rigorous coaching. She freed my heart and allowed me to move on to my new path. It's, I'm truly grateful to her. Master Suzune is my dear mentor. 
What will you do? Master Zuzuzu stands facing me in the ninja room, still awaiting my response. I will not use my puppetry. Even if I did take control of Mora and the others, I don't think I'd ever resolve anything. Why is that? Some things can only be explained through battle. Her mouth twists to my words. She wears a cool smile, just like the old-fashioned one, the one she flashed me when we first met. You've matured. Master Zuzuzu claps on me on the shoulder and then leaves the room. Puppetry is a devilish, uh, devilishly easy problem solver, and the old me abused it left and right. But even when I did take control of my target's emotions, the results were always at least a bit off of what I had hoped for in my heart. <coughs> Excuse me. To truly resolve a conflict, opponents must clash, and therefore, re thereby reach an understanding. I could never reach that point with my parents, but my fellow elites can surely meet me halfway. We should be able to understand each other absolutely. That's why I will give this battle my all. Homura Hikage Mire. I will fight you with my very heart. Please accept it. I'm taking a breather from reading. <laughs> I'll let them talk. That's what they got paid for in this game. Alright, let's do this. Oh, this might be the last one for this session. This game's really hard to play a bunch at once. Because of all the reading and everything. You just kind of get, like, exhausted from it when you got to read it out loud. It wouldn't be so bad if you could just read it to yourself, but, like, reading it out loud and stuff, like I said, it really... Oh, I hate these sheep dudes. I do, I hate these sheep dudes so much. Also, my pupper dog probably needs to let out, so... It's another excuse, but yeah, like, this game's really hard to play a bunch of at once because you do just kind of get to a point where it's like... Where in all honesty, it is. Where, um, I hear you, dog. I hear you, buddy. I do. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was, it's like, after, like, the close to the two hour mark of a session, it just is like, I don't know, it's just like, I need a break from reading. Like, I know that's kind of a pathetic thing to think about, but like, I don't know, it's, too, I think it's just the reading out loud, like, I think if I read to myself, without reading out loud, I'd be able to, like, just play through this game. Probably, like, pretty easily, but, like, it's the reading out loud that really gets to me. Well, say so if I skipped everything, I'd be done with this game and I don't know, probably like an hour. I'd imagine you could probably play through this game. I'd say probably about an hour. Maybe not quite an hour, maybe an hour and a half, two hours maybe. But the the run time would be significantly reduced. Just saying. Yeah. 
But I don't want to use my burst yet. Ah, I blocked that. Eh. That should do it. Yeah, there was a third section. Okay, cool. But I didn't waste that then. On just those little. Oh, I'm fighting Homura at the end of this. If I'd known that, I probably would have played a little bit on the smarter side of things here. I definitely probably wouldn't have used up my, um... Probably wouldn't have used up my Shinobi transformation. Oh, that's why I did no damage with the burst. I didn't set the burst off. Oops. Ah, uh, this sucks. Let me get away from her real quick. Man, that little kiss, that little kiss move is ridiculously powerful. Like, the amount of damage it actually does is a lot. It is really easy to land. Still got it though, because I'm the best. Best Simran Kagura player on the face of the planet. I kind of want to do two more missions because I feel like they're going to be quick missions. I imagine it's going to be like Hikage versus Yomi and I, I won. No, 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 you not yet. I can still fight. What? Hold on. Just how tough are you, Homura? Come on, Haruka. This isn't over until one of us can't move a muscle. I'm done enough. I know your strength. If we fight to the end, I'll be the one to lose. I can't stand up to you in terms of stamina, endurance, or preservation. You are indeed the strongest of the elite. Thus proving there can be strength without friendship. No. You had me on the ropes and I mean that. Having friends definitely can make you stronger inside. I get what you're saying about that. How about this then? Strength is important and friendship are... And friends are important as well. They both are. <laughs> I guess so. That works. Good. Now let's put this unpleasantness behind us. Maybe not. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the end of that one. I don't think I deserve a D on that one. But, uh... No, I think that's, uh... I think it's where I'm going to end this session. I think that's plenty enough for right now. I am curious to see where I'm at, like mission-wise. I'm definitely in chapter four, that's good. Ooh, I'm like almost halfway through chapter four. I'm actually on the halfway point, so. That's cool. Oh, I am right, it's Hikage versus, uh... oh, I gotta be Yomi in defeat Hikage. So it'd be Hikage and then Miri versus um, Hiyabari. Be my guess. Be the next two missions. But I still think it's where I'm gonna end. I am gonna do the Ice Queen and and I'm gonna do these free missions as well at some point. So feel free to look for those. 
in the future and also more Sinner and Kagura videos. At this point, we're probably we're probably inter interchanging this with Super Smash Bros. since Yoshi's probably out. But we have about 11 missions left. And, uh, 11, 12 missions left. And, like I said, if you guys have enjoyed it, if you have, feel free to press that thumbs up button. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.